on this continent with other leaders where they think the presidency is all about themselves. It's all self-interest. So state resources um, and, and, and the influence that you have should be used for your benefit and your family and your cronies. And, and that's what happened. It is a sign of character weakness in people who succumb to that kind of temptation to use um, power, political office, uh, to enrich themselves. And anybody who stood in his way must be removed. And that's how I left and why I left the ruling Botswana Democratic Party that my father formed, as you correctly said, and the one that I led for 10 years. Because they no longer represented uh, or practiced the ideals which were enshrined in its own constitution. Um, and I went and joined uh, opposition parties. That was my crime. And from that, they then fabricated charges against me. One of them was accusing me of having stolen billions of bula or dollars, uh, which has since come out in the courts of law as having been fabricated. Something that he personally presided over um, and accused individuals, including South Africa, of being a party to, to that allegation. Um, so yes, indeed, that happened. When that failed in the courts, they then had to dream up something else. Because his intention to this date is that I must not be in any way involved in the campaign against him and his party. Because in 2019, at the last elections, I succeeded in removing them, causing their loss in their stronghold, which they had held since independence. Um, but those elections were also rigged, because otherwise the other main party, the UDC, as it's known, um, would have won that election. So they then dreamt up these firearm charges, saying that I have got weapons which are not licensed, um, but I do have uh, licensed weapons. There are even affidavits from the police who licensed my weapons to that effect. So you can see it's just an attempt to make sure that I should be arrested or even eliminated, which they've tried to do as well.